Hello, I just wanted to share a quick uh, look at the K-5 math curriculum from BJU Press. I had a couple people ask me about it after seeing the beginnings, K-5 beginnings video I did. So I'm just going to give you a quick look at it. There are samples at christianbook.com and BJU Press homeschool.com. Uh, so if you want to see inside the book, you can look there. But I will just show you briefly how we use it and some of the other pieces that go with it, and then a couple thoughts I had. So we're about a third of the way through the book, and I'm just gonna show you a sample lesson here. Um, normally you'd have it open like this in one. I know that this isn't all gonna show in one. I'm maybe gonna come back a little bit. Um, one two-page spread is a day's lesson. On this side is the objectives and review. So I will tell you that my son did um, the BJU Press K-4 program and because of that I have found that the K-5 math in particular was a lot of review and I know that at this age review is good but it was it was a slow go review. Um, so a lot of the parts that are in like review here we do not do because I lose him in the lesson. <laughs> he He's known squares and rectangles for a long time and, and they stayed on that kind of stuff for a long time. So I, I ended up not doing a lot of this review and just skipping right to the section right here that's labeled teach for understanding. That's where the new content for the day is. And so you can see that it's well scripted out. What, the, what you say as a teacher is listed here in blue, and the desired response for your student is listed in red. So it's very easy to use. Um, over here you have the um, condensed version of the student work text page, and the answers are in red. And then down here is a little activity that you can do after the lesson. And we use the distance learning videos along with the teacher manual and work text and the section that's labeled extended activity is actually done on the video by a character named Addie and she's very colorful, very vibrant. My, my son loves the Addie activity time. So, that, so this is something that's already done for you. So really you're getting the lesson taught plus the extended activities when you get the video, which I thought was great because a lot of the times you know, you get a video lesson from some company and, and it'll just have the lesson and all the extra activities and stuff you have to do on your own. And it's just kind of nice to have, you know, this fun character walk your child through this activity and you can just enjoy it with them and not have to, you know, teach everything. So I, I kind of liked that because um, uh, I, I got to do the activity with my child instead of worrying about planning it. <laughs> so that was nice. Um, I will say that the other components that go along with this, um, the work text page, I just, I have just a sheet here because if you watched my other video, you know that I took my work text apart, hole punched them and put them in a binder sorted by week just for easy uh, organization. Um, I'm going to do another video about that because that's actually not working as well as I thought. So I'm going to do another video about how we're organizing the material now. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to show you that the work, tech page, work text pages are very colorful, very engaging. Uh, usually it's a front to back um, sheet, one sheet per day that your child completes. This is actually a review page, so there's different topics on here. And then the last component that we purchased for K5 was the manipulative packet. And again, if you saw my other video, you saw I've, I've taken I've punched out all the things and put them in this little like coupon organizer, but the manipulatives are just these little like cardstock counters, like of various animals, bugs, shapes, things like that. And then there's money. Um, for when we get to money, there's a clock. Um, there's different work mats for them to use these uh, counters on, to use the Unifix cubes on. And I will say the only comment I would have about this is a lot of this stuff you could count things you have at home. You could do um, a lot of different things without purchasing this. And the first grade manipulative packet is very similar, but there are a couple things in the first grade manip manipulative packet that I actually do want to have, but 
I'm not going to purchase a whole nother manipulative packet and get all these sorts of things just for the couple things I want. So kind of hindsight, I, I wish I would have bought the first grade manipulative packet and just used it alongside of the kindergarten math and then had it for the first grade math. So we're just going to make something work for first grade because um, I'm not going to purchase the second packet. So those are the things that come with the K-5 math. Those are just my brief thoughts. Um, again, the main thing that I would say is that if you're going to get um, K-5 math, kindergarten math, and this is the addition that goes with the distance learning. There is actually a newer addition out now, but the setup is the same. Um, if you're going to get this math, um, just keep in mind what you're doing for K-4 because I felt like maybe we shouldn't have done K-4 and just started with this because um, it was kind of a, a rough go um, getting him through those review chapters. So uh, let me know if you have any questions about it or if um, you've used it and, and you have some tips on how we could improve it in our home. Thanks for watching.